Lance is coming back. He hasn't gotten traded yet. Huh. If they don't trade him during the if they don't trade him during the draft and they want to showcase him in preseason or they actually want him to start, will they call fewer design runs for him this year given that he broke his leg running between the tackles last year on a design run? His, his ankle went like the other way a little bit. A bad way. Um, the wrong way. Uh, they should, but I don't think they will. They should, but I don't think they will. I just, I, because I, for first of all, for for Kyle Shannon, because this is essentially what it is, right? For Kyle Shannon to call fewer, just not, I'm not saying elimination, just fewer design runs. For him to do that would probably mean he's admitting I did mess up with running straight mm-hmm. into the ground last year. And you know what he didn't do last year? Admit that I wish I had that playback, or it was my fault. Because of course he's not gonna say my fault, but you couldn't have said like I wish I had the playback so my player wouldn't have gotten injured. There was zero acknowledgement, just like the kid was playing a hell of a game, da 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 da, you know all that stuff. You, I saw more, more remorse when Jimmy got hurt than than he, than he did with Trey Lance. So I don't. So I think that would be first admittance. Second of all, it's like I think he really doesn't want to leave that ability off Lance because it's like if I can't do that with Lance, what's the point of me having him out there? Like I think that's what he that's what he feels like ultimately. Even even if he does become a little bit more polished of a of a passer that you can trust more, I don't think he's gonna be like it makes no sense because if I run him the same amount, then not only is that gonna make my running game better with Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel all of a sudden is gonna be a better running back this year than he was last year. Because essentially, like remember again, we always saw the stats from the first two games with Debo versus like the the next four to five, and it was like, dude, his yards per carry are just mm-hmm. whopping down. It's like wow, Trey is a a fat difference maker in this case. So I think that's ultimately what he's going to dumb down soon. I think Kyle's going to be like, nah, I just, I just can't do it. He should he should ease it up because he's a very awkward and inefficient runner. He's a scrambler. He's someone that's just like uses his legs yeah. to buy time and then take off if you need to. But other than that, like, no, just, again, just a little less. N- not removed because you still need to keep deep on. It's just, just, just a little bit, a little, little, like 20%, 25, half. I think he's going to call less. I think um, if he does play and Brock isn't healthy, You'd be crazy to go out there and run him a lot, given yes, how you just got him injured. I mean, if you do it again, no one's going to defend you if he gets hurt again. And I think it wasn't that effective in the first place. It, he's just more effective handing off. Use him as a decoy. And if you finally use him as a runner, do it when people least expect it, like mm-hmm. fourth quarter or week two or when, when everyone's kind of feel like, oh, you're not going to run him anymore because you're afraid because he got hurt. Then that's when you run him. Not you know, three times in the first quarter like you did last year. Treat it like a boxer, an MMA fighter. Like it's like, dude, just keep hitting with the jab, jab. It's like, oh, the, the haymaker's not bang. It's like, boom, like, like, just exactly. like that. <laughs> and the jab is the handoff. And what I didn't like about the Niners last year was when he was. I felt like the jab was him running up the middle. Like, no, 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 no. The jab is the handoff, man. It's working. Why are we pressing the issue with Trey right now? Yeah, that's. I felt a little like kind of forced in the concept. It's, it's the same manner in that that me and you were both mad at for that for that play with Trey that Kyle called is the same way that. I think me and you on the same page too. Is like we got mad at Kyle calling Debo Samuel on that second or third down run in the Bucks game when they're up by three scores, yeah. and it's like and it's like with the pushback, yeah. it's like dude, it's, it's not even halftime yet. And it's like yeah, but you're up three scores. You're not gonna run the try hard play, the highly effective, efficient running play that Vigasher, one of your best players that you need in a game where you it doesn't you don't need it. You're up three right. scores. I get it if it's like within us within ten or something like that, but like. like all these situations, down in distances, everything that's on the score with time left, all of these little things matter in terms of what you're going to play on these high risk, high reward plays for these guys. And that, in both of those instances, it just wasn't worth it. Remember last year, they put themselves in this weird position where, like you said, they didn't develop Trey Lance year one. Then in year two, they just made him the starting quarterback and they felt probably privately he wasn't ready for it because they didn't develop him year one. So they, ins- they, they changed their offense. And they ins- installed this Trey Lance offense that was a lot of him running the ball. Now, he got hurt. Brock stepped up. It's Brock's team. They're not going to be installing a Trey Lance offense. If he's even on this team in training camp, he's going to be competing with Sam Darnold in the Brock Purdy structure of the offense, which probably means far fewer zone reads. I mean, you'll have shotgun handoffs, which is great, but far fewer, which is g- Far fewer zone reads, which is a good thing for Trey Lance. We might actually see him get to play quarterback in the Niners system, which could be the best thing that ever happened to him. Because he's not Justin Fields. He's not Justin Fields. No, he's not. He's not. He's, he's not, not a good runner of the football at all. I never. I never got that. And I think even you know I can't speak for everyone, but I know personally when I was always talking about raving about his like his legs and his mobility, it wasn't because like oh just give him the ball and he's gonna take it off and run it like Lamar. It's like what? No, like. No, he's not no Jalen Hurts. He's no, he's probably 
of all like actual mobile quarterbacks who can technically run it as a design runner, he's probably the worst one. He's probably the worst running quarterback in the league, which in that case, don't run him because he's awkward. He has no feel. He doesn't have that twitch. You're not going to really get too much from him. I get if you want to run a couple, keep him honest, and maybe he might get you a nice five, eight yard gainer. But like, again, like you said, like situational, ta- situational play calling matters. Yeah. I just feel like he's fast enough if you're not super predictable. Yes. With your play calling, right? I mean, like the Niners issue is like, oh, here it comes again, and everyone knows it, and all eyes were on him. If you're if you're less predictable, like, dude, dude, Sam Darnold can run the zone read if you're if you're uh, you know if you spring it on people and surprise them. So, Trey could do it. It's just you you gave it you, you made it a steady diet. You made it like the basis of your offense, man. You're asking your quarterback to get hurt if you do that. It's not college. It's a it's a it's an element you sprinkle on top. It's it's the icing. It's not the freaking cake it was the yeah. cake last year it's not the it's not the engines of the car dude it's just leave, right even as a part as and it helps enhance all the other parts but like yeah it's just frankly it's, the zone read isn't a big play in the nfl like what do you get from this you, you might get five yards one way or the other but it's not a big chunk play like it's it's best to me at the goal line it's a short yardage play it's a great short yardage play because the defense kind of chooses wrong and you end up getting four or five yards one way or another, but you're not doing it seven times, eight, 20 times a game. I and mean, it's not your offense. It's not, it's not freaking college. And you know what? After this past season, the only quarterbacks who really run it like that and in that sense of actually running like a driving force are the Ravens and the Eagles. Not even the Cardinals did that with Kyler Murray. And Kyler Murray is a significantly better runner than, uh, than uh, Trey Lance. So it's like yeah. all this comparison is like, well, he can run it. So why not? It's like, no, look at the teams last year who actually did it that way. One of them got hurt. Actually, they both got hurt on the same play. Hurt. I'm running, I'm running hurt. it. But one just yeah. thankfully it was just a shoulder and he came back within yeah. weeks. And but uh, it actually did plague him a little bit in those playoffs games. Yeah, you saw that throw he made at the end, the Hail Mary at the end of the Super Bowl. It was pathetic. That was a shoulder. Yeah. I mean, even the Niners game, his touch was off all game. I mean, it's not like he was, it was. Pressure like that. It's like, dude, he looked a little hurt. He but, did. He he was, just 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 stop with the running plays, man. It's just it, it's just unnecessary. And, and the, another element to think about it from the final point is, how does Trey Lance psyche going to be when he gets handoffs on those now? Like, aren't you worried about that? Like, if you thought he was a bad runner, or, I thought if you think he's an inefficient runner, like I think he is, what do you think it's going to be now? That indecisive. He's like- he was indecisive too. I mean, it wasn't just that he was slow because he's I, he, to me he looks like a mid four six runner, which is probably pretty fast for a quarterback especially his size, but he's indecisive. He does a lot of like stopping and starting and hesitating. It's like, dude, that's not going to get you to the edge in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Sorry. No. Yeah. Um, so. Also, Dak Prescott coming back. It was a different injury, but he looks slow as hell now and super indecisive. Oh, yeah. He's way slower. Yeah. He can't Trey Lance, all. James Wiseman, Joey Bart, all busts. Joey Bart, James Wiseman. Damn. See, Joey Bart probably has played a few games. Like James Wiseman's played dozens of games in the NFL. Trey Lance has played four. I still think his sample size is outrageously small. I feel like Bust is such an extremist. I feel like Bust, it's like not only did you mess up the pick, but that player sucked. Like yeah. just James, James Wise, they mess up the pick. I like to classify them more as like whiffs. It's like, no, you messed yeah. it up. Like that was a whiff. Like does James Wise yeah. necessarily suck? Probably not, but too you know, early to say. Over yeah. say, he's not a bust. Overreach, more of a whiff than a bust. And the same thing with Bart. It's like, you know, when they're in the Giants system and all that stuff like that, they, they're kind of all buns now with Farhan and everything. So. There's a, lot, there's a lot of these things. There's more whiffs than bust. Bust feels so extremist.